Hi, welcome back. We will learn about the real-time reports. This is the first report that we would be doing in our tutorials. So watch me as I take you through the real-time reports. Now, if you talk about real-time reports, it gives you the idea about or a real-time report about the number of people who are on your site, where they come from, what pages they're navigating to or what pages they're currently on. And if you have set up any events in Google Analytics, you will even be able to find out how many events have been triggered by those people who are presently on the site. And you can even find as to how many events were triggered in the last 30 minutes in the same real-time reports. So continue to watch this video as I take you through the real-time reports. This is something okay. intensive. It is not going to be a video that you would rather find on YouTube in many other channels. This is something very in-depth. So I'm going to take you through all those nuances where you can learn everything about real-time reports in great detail. Thank you so much and uh, join me as I take you through the account. To check the real-time reports in Google Analytics, you first have to come to this left side pane. Generally, it will be uh, hidden. So what you can do is you can click on this right arrow and the pane will open up. And this is where you see under the reports, you have something called real-time. This is called as a report section where you'd have these reports. The first one is called real-time report. Then you have the audiences report, acquisition report, behavior reports, and conversion reports. In the entire playlist, you'd learn about extensively using these reports and how to interpret the reports. But there are a lot of uh, confusions when you go across and ask people as to what this report generally gives me, or how can I really interpret these reports by adding custom dimensions or the other secondary dimensions, right? We will talk extensively about these reports, but this is exclusively for real-time reports so the first report when you click here you click on real-time report you see you have so many other options the first one being the overview then you have locations uh, traffic sources content events and conversions so the objective behind these real-time reports is people will come to my site and whenever they come to my site the analytics tracking code that is on my site will load and it will send a hit we discussed about so many hits, hits maybe of different types. A hit can be a page view hit or an event hit or a social hit or a transaction hit. So anytime a hit is received by analytics, you can see those rates in real time in this section. So you come to overview, see this report is says per second. That means the hits that are received and this is again per second. For example, if somebody happens to come to my website, I'll see this vertical line, you know, starting from here. Right. And again, this is per minute. So you can see the number of page views in each minute. So if I if I say, in, uh, you know, uh, eight minutes ago, we had 12 page views that in, in that particular eight minute, you know, considering uh, from this particular time. So if somebody happens to come to my page, you'll see them here per second, but they will all be grouped per minute. I mean the page views and you'd find all of them here in case in case at times you know somebody comes to my site and they have and I've put events on my site for example if you come to my site and I've put like you know when you scroll down to 25% of my site or 50% of my site I'm sending an event and whenever that event hit is triggered again you'll find them here right but this only talks about the page views right now so when you see this report again you see the number of people who are right now on my site it says active users i will tell you what active users really mean it is not user it's an active user so what is the active user in this uh, you know particular report is if a person is on my site and that person has been active that means that person send an hit it may be a page view hit or an event hit in last five minutes only then that person will be in this active user so if you come to my site you send a hit and again there's a break of five minutes even though you're on my site you would not be considered as an active user so active users on the whole it means people who have sent an hit it may be a page view hit or an event in the last five minutes only those people will be considered as active users and this report only shows the active users that means the number of people who are on my site and they gave a break from their last hit if it is beyond five minutes and um, uh, google analytics will not put them under actual users so i hope you understand now this even tells you the number of people who are on mobile and the other devices now if you come to overview it's just generally giving you an overview but if you want to dig deep you have particular other options as well we'll go into each of them but for now let's look at overview now we discussed about this and then we discussed about the per minute and per second now you see active users it even tells you which pages they're generally active on right the number of people you know who are active on home page is six the number of people who are active on google redesign new is two the number of people who are active on this particular page is two now you suddenly saw there was one that means person entered the site and you see you know this this, this uh, line came up right so you can see the pages that people are actively on on your site right so yeah that's how it is and uh, you know you see referrals referrals as in you know the page from which they're actually coming to a site. For example, if you come to make marketer from google.com, so google.com will be my referral. Referral is nothing but the actual page that you were on 
before visiting my site is called as a referral and in google tag manager referral is by default variable so anytime you come to my site referral variable will actually capture the website from which you're coming to my site right and then you have social traffic if somebody is coming to my site from social network platforms for example facebook or youtube or snapchat or twitter or quora they'll all be here right i hope somebody comes to my site during this time if they happen to come from facebook or quora you'll find them here and the keyword right now it shows no keyword but what i'm going to do is i have this page so if i go here i have added something called utm underscore term so i added utm tags and i added utm underscore term so if i go and hit this button you see the page actually doesn't load but uh, but when you come here all right give me one moment when you come here you'll actually find uh, the keyword as well so i'll show you that in a while right and then you come to locations you'll see the places from which they're active on your site you know in in, in the overview it shows you a map it shows you an orange uh, you know circle the circle kind of becomes big if the number of users are quite high but if you want to know the actual uh, places from which they are you know geographically you know visiting my site you can go and check them here right and when you go into india again this becomes a segment again you'll find all the people from different different cities of india if you want to go dig deeper you can even do that right and you can see how many people that's why you know i've selected india that's why it's added a segment called india right so it'll only show you data related to india and the active users in india right you can you can see right and then you come to traffic sources it essentially talks about where those people are coming from if you have linked your analytics account to adwords account and all the data you know flows from google ads so if people come to your website from google ads so all that data directly flows in and they'll be categorized as google and the medium will be cpc that means the source will be google and the medium will be cpc and the keyword data will also flow but it can even capture the people who are coming to my website from a tagged url which means utm underscore source that means it says if somebody happens to come to the site from this particular url it even says the source will make and the medium is trusted and the term is gbooks right you see make and trusted you see so it does not generally track only when you link your adwords account to analytics account definitely it will happen but apart apart from that it even shows you uh, the utm tags so if a link is tagged properly and all those you know you know source and the medium and the content and the campaign and the term you would find them here right so that's exactly why it is said the first thing that a digital marketer has to do is tag the url nb inbound link has to be tagged if you don't tag those urls in fact it's considered to be a crime right yeah so if i if i if i click on this again source i'll go into that again i might find the medium right so if a lot of people happen to come to my site so i can particularly go and see them right so just see i just enter the site right so you see yeah i'm particularly talking about this person so i i visited the site twice so even before I created the video, it was there. So I visited the site like 22 minutes ago, and then I visited the site like two minutes ago, right? So it it, it says you know this particular person has been to your site twice, and uh, you can even see you know if, if you dig down and see those particular kind of people, you can see if those you know for example you write an email campaign, you can see people coming from those email campaigns, how many people are coming, and you know what's the duration between each of them, right? So this kind of really helps you understand, you know, uh, the kind of page views, uh, you know, getting from people who are active on your site. Again, I repeat active people who've sent at least one hit page view hit or an event hit in the last five minutes. You can see the active users and you have page views also. So here you can see the number of page views that each of those source and medium attracted. Right. And then you go to content, you can find the pages that these people have been on. Right. You see the active users, the pages and uh, yeah, you come here, you see the active users. And which page they're on it shows the page uh, url the, i mean the page path and the page title if you come to if you come to the events now if i configured events you can even find those events being triggered by users on my site in real time right this is the this is the category right in the commerce right if i go deep now when when i think you might be you might you, you might remember whenever you send an event into analytics you kind of send three you know parameters the first one is called uh, event category event action third one is event label event value is also there but that value will only take the numeric number so let's uh, not get into that for now but in case you wanted to send some extra information or you're implementing enhanced e-commerce tracking that kind of comes into picture but for now let's ignore the event value but if i go deeper in it it will even show me the event action and the event label and how many people who have done this event two people and uh, you know one is from desktop one is from mobile this particular people who perform this particular action and you can see them in the real time in the graph as well now if somebody happens to convert on my site i can see that in real time as well so i can come here and see right a goal right and these goals can be configured so it doesn't really matter what goal 
right? I hope you understand. You can create 20, you know, goals and you can have, you know, sets. So you can group goals with same theme into sets. And uh, yeah, so you can find all of them in real time reports. So this kind of gives you a real idea about the kind of people who are coming and you can even go deeper and try and segment them or select those people and you can see how, you know, which pages they are on and if they've converted or not, right? So this is more about the real time report. And I would, I would recommend you to watch the other videos in sequence because they're going to be really, really in depth. Remember, you can even see the hits, you see, goal hits. That means any hit which is, which is counted as a goal analytics, you can even find them. So you'll find per minute, per second. And what you have to learn here is active users. Active users is somebody who sent one page view hit or one event hit in the last five minutes. So if you're on my site and there's a break of five minutes, that means you're not an active user. So even though you're on my site, you're not an active user. Again, you happen to go to other page. Again, you have to scroll down, which is configured as an event. Again, you'll fall in the bucket, which is active users. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I would recommend you not to skip these videos. Don't harp from one video to other video. Watch the videos in detail and do not even fast forward these videos because what I'm teaching on this channel is something very in depth, something that you'd not find otherwise on any YouTube channel. And uh, also, to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and also hit on that notification bell icon that you'd find below so that you would be notified every time we post a new video on our channel. Thank you so much. And remember, keep learning, keep growing, aspire, acquire, achieve. Thank you.